What's happening out there, everybody? Uh, sorry, I haven't uh, been around for a while. I've had so much going on, and uh, I've had uh, work and stuff, but um, I'm planning on trying to get a few videos out here soon. Um, for sure, just want to say something real quick before I get started. Uh, this is an update, <clears throat> which you'd probably be able to tell by the title. But uh, anyway, I uh, over the weekend, I reached uh, 100 subscribers. I do believe now I have uh, 103 or 104 so, uh, excuse me, sorry. But anyway, uh, I just want to thank everybody once again for, uh, you know, all the, the love that I've been shown over the past few months of being on here. Uh, I think my first video was uh, published late in uh, September so uh, of last year, so I've only been on here for, you know, four or five months, something like that, and I'm at 100 subscribers. Uh, I can't really tell if that's that's a lot for four months or a little, but... To me, it doesn't really matter. I, I don't, I'm not doing this uh, for any kind of recognition or, you know, bragging rights about anything. Uh, it started out, and you know, as I've said before, as a hobby, you know, just something to uh, occupy my time, and uh, you know, it's turned into something really great because uh, I've realized that the uh, DVD community uh, on uh, and uh, movie community on uh, YouTube has uh, a, a really great community, and uh, most people are really nice uh, people and. Uh, really great individuals that uh, you know love to talk about films and the films that they love, and uh, you know I love seeing everybody's updates and, and everything. So uh, you know, thanks for all the great comments and uh, and and all the wonderful uh, things that uh, I've uh, been brought to uh, with my channel and everything. So just uh, like I said, wanted to get that out of the way and say thanks to everybody. Uh, don't really know what to do this time around. I, I you know, just did a Q&A about a month ago when I hit 50 subscribers that these, this last 50 uh, subs has come really quick. So, you know, that's uh, really awesome. But uh, for right now, just uh, I, I want to give a little hint at a few things in store. Uh, there may be something coming up, something a little cool uh, for other people, uh, for, you know, the subscribers of the channel and everything. Uh, I may be working with some other YouTubers on a little project, so uh, keep your eyes open for that. I don't want to say too much because you know there's nothing set in stone yet. But I've been talking to uh, one of my other fellow YouTubers, one of my people that I you know enjoy watching their vids and uh, talk to and comment on a lot, and they comment back with me. So uh, we're uh, trying to get a little something together. So uh, when we know something for sure, we will let you know. So <coughs> just wanted to say that, but. Uh, just uh, let me get started with the update here. I have a few things. Uh, these uh, first few here, I'll just grab them one at a time. Uh, this I got for uh, $3.99 at a store near me called uh, AJ Wright. They're kind of uh, you know like a discount clothing store and have a lot of other discount items. But they also have like a nice little DVD section. It's uh, also a little bit like a Big Lots, but more you know based towards clothing and stuff. And uh, I drop in there every once in a while to see what they have, and I found this two-disc uh, extended, unrated version of Knocked Up. It's a really nice edition. It's got a ton of extra features on it, a lot of good stuff, a commentary. Uh, you know, the movie's funny as well. I'm real picky about comedies, but I found this one fairly hilarious, so I uh, really enjoyed this. But it's nice to see that at a cheap price. Uh, I also picked up uh, Jet Li's Fearless. Now, this version... Uh, it says it's got three versions on it, but I read somewhere that uh, it actually only has two on there. I haven't watched anything on it yet, but uh, it, it doesn't really matter to me. Two versions, three versions, whatever. It's uh, you know It was $3.99, so I didn't get gypped out of too much if I only got two versions. But, uh, you know, no big deal. Uh, I have seen the movie, but uh, I haven't watched the versions that are on this. I, I saw the original version. A friend of mine let me borrow it. So uh, it's a really cool flick if you're into martial arts and uh, you like Jet Li a lot. It's kind of a cool old school epic, but uh, really nice. So can't beat a two disc, you know, director's cut with, uh, you know, for four bucks. But this, uh, I'm in the middle of watching this. Uh, I actually went back to the place to grab this because my dad uh, told me about it, and uh, it's called Easy Riders and Raging Bulls. Uh, it's a, uh, I do believe it was a BBC documentary, and it's a really nice documentary. I'll just uh, read what it says on the back to tell you what it's about. It says, this uh, searing documentary narrated by William H. Macy traces the highs and lows, the scandals and celebrations, the tragedies and triumphs that shaped this phenomenal period in cinema history. 
adapted from uh, Peter Biskind's uh, literary phenomenon, the book that blew the lid off uh, both Hollywood and the lives of the infamous celebrated movie brats. Uh, this film and the bonus DVD provide candid insight into the most radical chapter in uh, history of filmmaking. And it's basically about, uh, you know, all the, the directors and filmmakers and stuff that, you know, took over uh, the reins from the old uh, studios, the old Hollywood studios when they were crumbling. You know, guys like Martin Scorsese and, you know, well, Roger Corman, first off, you know, discovering guys like Martin Scorsese and, uh, you know, Francis Ford Coppola and Sam Peckinpah and, you know, all these great guys, Jonathan Demme, you know, all, all these great guys that came out of that era, uh, you know, Dennis Hopper and, and stuff, but... Uh, you know, it's pretty much my uh, my favorite era of filmmaking is you know the from the the late '60s into the '70s and uh, into the early '80s and stuff is uh, just my favorite era of uh, filmmaking altogether. But it's uh, really cool so far. I'm in the process of watching. I watched about half of the first disc and uh, really enjoyed it so far. So, and uh, it was three dollars. It was three bucks at uh, AJ Wright. So if you uh, have an AJ Wright near you, go check them out and uh, see if they have this. It's really really cool. But, uh, <clears throat> the other, uh, things that I picked up at AJ Wright, these were five bucks each, and, uh, you know, they're, uh, it's The Hitchhiker, uh, volume one, two, and three. I've never seen any of this, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, HBO's original, uh, entertainment, you know, The Sopranos, I loved Oz, uh, a lot of their, uh, movies that they made, The Jack Bull, and, uh, you know, many, many others, uh, that, that they came out with, I've always been a fan of. And uh, there are some great actors and actresses and stuff involved in uh, this series. So uh, hopefully once I watch a little bit of it, maybe I can get back to everybody and let everybody know what I thought. But uh, well, it's pretty cool. You know, five bucks each, I figured you can't beat it. It's two disc sets and, uh, you know, pretty nice. So, But that's pretty cool. And then uh, this other thing that I grabbed, I got at a store I talk about a lot that I go to called Buybacks. Um they had this, it's uh, one of the, the Time Life series uh, DVDs. It's a three-disc DVD, or a three-disc set. Um, it's uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum uh, Live. And it's got uh, 528 minutes worth of footage. There's uh, rehearsals. There's uh, a lot of the uh, live performances. Um, there's <clears throat> induction speeches and, and induction uh you know, uh, thank yous and, and all that stuff, so if you're a fan of uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame performances and, and different things, and this would be uh, something you might want to check out. I've watched uh, pretty much everything on here, uh, and everything was thoroughly impressive. I mean, it, it's really nice. Some of it would uh, be a little disappointing because it's so old, the video quality was so bad on it, you know, but, uh, you know, beyond that, it's a pretty cool little set. And I think I paid like 15 bucks for this, so... Excuse me, uh, but uh, I guess I'm probably running a little long here on the vid, and uh, you know, like I said, I just want to thank everybody for watching. Glad you guys enjoy the channel, and uh, I'll see you around next time. Bye.